Hi, my name is Heather Whaling. I'm the founder and CEO of Gebbin Communication. Gebbin is a public relations agency based here in Columbus, and we have a second office in Chicago. We help startups grow into bigger brands and help bigger brands think and act more like startups by infusing more creativity and innovation into their communication. We primarily focus on traditional and digital PR, which means we're doing a lot of media relations, analyst relations, event visibility, content marketing, social media, community management, but we're also working on strategic communication planning or crisis communication, influencer campaigns, so really anything under that PR umbrella that clients need help with, we become an extension of their team and help them make it happen. If you don't know what you want to say, then it doesn't matter how you're trying to say it. So messaging has to be foundational to everything that you're doing, understanding what that message is, and then effective storytelling, how you want to actually disseminate that message is the core of what we do. I think one of the areas where we're really able to help our clients, particularly when we're working with startup clients, is taking something that they have that is very technical and jargon-filled and translating it so that the masses actually understand it. So we do a lot of work with companies that are at the very forefront of their industry, but they're in it so much that they're talking in terms that like reporters and consumers are never going to use or understand. So we're able to provide a lot of value almost by being a translator and taking that jargon and very complicated verbiage and putting it into messaging that will then capture the attention of reporters and will resonate with the end consumer. With each channel or social channel that you're trying to develop a presence on, you want to understand what is the goal for that channel? Who are you trying to target? And what is it that you're trying to convey? Is it for customer service? Is it brand building? Is it sales generation? Each channel has its own audience and its own goal typically. So understanding that first is really important. Certainly there are opportunities where if you're using one piece of content on Twitter, you could repurpose it on Facebook. It's just a probably changing the captions or the words and phrases a little bit or hashtag versus no hashtag. And so there's opportunity certainly to repurpose, but it's just making those little tweaks so the content feels like it was created for that channel originally. From a PR perspective, messaging is still always going to be really important. The challenging part, I think, for PR people is to really shift that mindset away from broadcasting messaging to tailoring messaging to more of a one-to-one -one feel. So how can you take something that's working big picture and make each customer feel like it was created specifically for them? particularly when we're working with a brand on their social channels, understanding that social media can't be like corporate speak and it really does need to have a bit more of that personality infused into it. So as part of our discovery process, we'll encourage our clients to really think of the brand like a person. And if this brand were a person, what other brands would it hang out with? What organizations would it be involved in? What kind of car would it have? So thinking through like, what are all these different things that make up the persona of a person? How do we take that and apply it to the brand perspective? And then from there, it helps us really build out that social persona that we can deploy across the social channels more effectively than just if it was kind of a dry corporate speak. I think writing is still the most important skill. It's amazing to me when we're looking at resumes or, or cover letters of new hires, how poor the writing is. And no matter what facet of PR you wanna get into, at the core, you're a communicator, so you have to be able to communicate effectively. I think sometimes it's even harder to write for social media because you have to be succinct and clever and creative in 140 characters, which can be really tricky. But I think having that the ability to write for diverse channels or diverse mediums is really, really important and something that I think people think isn't as important, but is more important probably than ever.